guidelines in the filing of tax returns and payment of internal revenue taxes. For filing of tax returns and payment of internal revenue taxes, we have two methods such as electronic filing of tax returns and manual filing of tax returns and payments. In the previous video, we've talked about the EBIR forms, but for this video, we're going to talk about the electronic filing and payment system, or what we call the EFPS. For taxpayers required to use or voluntarily opt to enroll in the EFPS, file and return electronically and pay the corresponding taxes due thereon through the EFPS AABs where they are enrolled. Taxpayers enrolled in the EFPS may enroll and maintain their account with any of the following EFPS AABs. Please refer to this list below to see the list of authorized agents' banks. Following taxpayers are mandated to use EFPS, Taxpayer under Taxpayer Account Management Program, Accredited Importer and Prospective Importer, National Government Agencies, All Licensed Local Contractors, Enterprises Enjoying Fiscal Incentives such as PESA, BOI, Various Zone Authorities, and etc. Top 5,000 Individual Taxpayers, Corporations with Paid Up Capital Stock of 10 million and above, Corporations with Complete Computerized Accounting System, Government Offices in so far as remittance of withheld VAT and business taxes concerned, government bidders, insurance companies and stockbrokers, large taxpayers, and top 20,000 private corporations. The mentioned taxpayers who are not yet enrolled in EFPS and have not yet enrolled in any EFPS AABs shall use the EBIR forms for e-filing and pay the corresponding taxes through any payment facilities available. In case of newly created tax returns that are not yet available in the EFPS facility but already available in the EBIR forms, taxpayers shall file the said returns using the EBIR forms and pay through any payment channel mentioned in RMC 04-2021. And that's it for filing and payment through the Electronic Filing and Payment System, the EFPS. Thank you for watching!